Hello, third grade students. Today I'm going to read for you chapters 9 and 10 of Third Grade Angels. Let's get right into the video. Chapter 9, Spies. Does it count if the teacher doesn't see it? My mother was in the backyard. She was cutting stuff from her herb garden. Her head came up. Say again? If Mrs. Sims doesn't see me being good, how am I supposed to get credit for my halo? She snipped a couple stems and stood up. She turned around. I laughed. She was wearing the supersized movie star sunglasses I gave her as a joke for her birthday. In other words, she said, you want to know if it's okay to be bad when you're not at school. Another word trick. I was thinking it over when Zippernose came screeching. Mommy, mommy, let me wear them. She was jumping up, grabbing for the glasses. I smacked her hand away. No. She punched me. Her punches don't hurt. You shut up. They're mommy's glasses. I gave them to her, I said. Which makes them mine, said my mother. You she took them off and handed them to Zippernose. One minute and give them back. Zippernose went dancing across the yard. I heard a chuckle. My mother was grinning down at me. So, she said, what you really want to know is if you have to be nice to your sister, right? My mother is unbelievable. She not only knows the answers, she knows the questions. Well, I said, sort of. She nodded. The grin was gone. A serious answer was coming. Okay, here's what I think. You like Mrs. Sims, right? Yes, I said. You like her because she's nice, right? Right. And nice people usually have a lot of friends, wouldn't you say? I guess so. So, she sniffed her handful of herbs. Mrs. Sims, nice Mrs. Sims, probably has a lot of friends. You with me? It's funny. My dad is the lawyer, but my mom often sounds like one. Yeah, I said. So here's what I think. She jabbed the herbs at me. I think it's not just Mrs. Sims keeping an eye on you. I think it's her network of friends, too. They're probably all over the place. If they see one of her students acting up, they report back to her. You mean like spies, I said? She nodded. Sort of. She brushed the herbs across my nose. I smelled mint. If you ask my advice, I'd say you better not take a chance. You better be nice to everybody all the time. And that... She poked the herbs at the dancing zipper nose. Sad to say, old Sudsy includes your dear little sister, she called. Amy, time's up. Zipper nose squealed. One more minute. Mom held out her hand. Now. She said it in her don't mess with me voice. Zipper nose groaned and slugged over and gave up the glasses. She gave me her best I hate you face and said poop and punched me like it was all my fault. Usually I would hit her back. Instead, I looked at the neighbor's backyards, at the neighbor's windows. I wondered if a spy was lurking behind a shade. I let Zippernose go grumping off unhit. And then Mom was squeezing me and saying, My little angel. Chapter 10. Angel at Home It's harder to be an angel at home than at school. I mean, it's not like I'm really bad at home. I don't throw the remote. I don't make fires in the living room. I don't say bad words. I'm just a normal kid. I do normal bad things. Sometimes I whine if I don't get my way, or leave my underwear on the floor, or forget to cap the toothpaste or turn out the lights, or stick a banana peel under Zipper Nose's pillow. But you should see me now. I sit up straight at the dinner table. I don't pick at my food. When I answer the phone, I say, Morton Residence, may I help you? Every piece of dirty clothes goes into the hamper. If I need the salt, I say, Salt, please. When somebody passes it, I say, Thank you. I don't have to worry about thanking my sister because she would never pass me anything. But I don't call her Zipper Nose anymore, except in my head. I don't call her Amy either. I don't call her anything. Now that I think about it, the only really hard thing about being an angel at home is being nice to my sister. And even that seemed pretty easy until my mother had a little talk with me a week ago. So, she said, how's the halo hunt going? Okay, I said. How many more days till the crowning of the first perfect angel? She knew I was counting. Eighteen, I said. She whistled. Eighteen more days. No lights on in empty rooms. No clothes on the floor. This is a new experience for me. A perfect person right here. She pointed straight down. In my house. Thanks, I said. Or maybe I should say, almost perfect. Huh? I said. Well, there is one little area where, well, you're not exactly bad, but you're not exactly good either. You're just kind of nothing. I am? Yes, with your sister. I thought we agreed you're going to be nice to her. I couldn't believe she was saying this, 
Mom, I am nice to her. I didn't hit her for a week. I don't make fun of her. I don't slam the door on her face. Mom, I don't even call her zipper nose anymore. She nodded. True, you don't do anything. And that's, she poked at me, the point, joint. You ignore her, like Judy Billings ignores you. It's as if she doesn't exist. That's not being nice to her. Being nice means doing something, not doing nothing. She held out her fist. Dig it? I nodded. Dig it. We fist bumped. So for the past week, I've been doing one nice thing for my sister each day. Like yesterday at breakfast, after I used the pancake syrup, instead of keeping it on my side of the table, I pushed it back to the middle where she could reach it. And today when I saw her plump, plumpy donkey on the hallway floor, usually I would step on it. But not this time. This time I just kicked it back into her room. So far it's not so bad, because every time I do something nice, I think, maybe one of Mrs. Sims' spies saw that. I keep sneaking out. I keep sneaking looks at the windows, but so far I haven't caught anybody peeking yet. I can almost feel them, spying, taking notes, maybe even pictures, reporting back to Mrs. Sims. I have to really be on my toes. I have to make up for all that blurting. I can't lose focus. Good, good, good. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect in every way. Eleven days till October 1st. Eleven days till first Halo. And that is the end of chapter 10. Watch my next video for chapters 11 and 12. Thank you so much and have a great day.